Hey beautiful people, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing video for your Redmi Note 11 and this time I am back with another TWRP recovery update and this one is the 3.7.0 and a lot of changes has been made uh, mostly. Decryption is working perfectly as you can see here. Internal storage has been decrypted successfully. So you can do a lot of stuff using the internal storage of your Redmi Note 11. No need to insert the SD card or use any USB OTG. So as you can see here internal storage is completely working. You can access any folder and you can do a lot of stuff. So today in this video I will be showing you how you can install the uh, latest TWRP 3.7.0 update on your Redmi Note 11. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before starting the video, make sure to subscribe my channel, also press the bell icon. By the way, sorry for the background noise because I am not uh, using any external microphone. So first of all, you need to download these three files on your laptop or PC. First one is the ADB driver, second one is the platform tools, and third one is the our actual TWRP recovery for the Redmi Note 11. So first of all, we have to extract the ADB setup. You can use any extracting tool, just open it up and double click on it, click on yes and you just have to complete this setup and it will install the ADB drivers on your device. Just reply with Y, hit enter again, reply with Y and it is just installing the ADB drivers again, reply with Y and it will open the ADB setup. Just finish the setup and it will automatically close the setup. Go back. And now you have to extract the downloaded platform tools, which will be needed to, uh, which will be needed in order to install the TWRP recovery. Just uh, now, after extracting the platform tools, just copy the downloaded TWRP image file. Just copy it out and uh, open the platform tools and paste it right here. After pasting it, you just need to reboot your device into the fast boot mode. And just power off your device. After power off, just press and hold power button plus volume down button to reboot your device into the fast boot mode. As you can see here. Now you just need to uh, connect your mobile with your laptop or PC by using a high quality data cable. I recommend you to use the original one. Just connect it out with your laptop or PC and plug it in to your mobile. So after connecting it, uh, just press and hold shift plus right click from the mouse and it will open, uh, it will show you a new option called open PowerShell window right here. Open, open PowerShell window here, just click on it and after opening it you just have to write some commands by the way I will also add the commands in the bottom of the screen and you can also check the commands from the description you just have to write fast boot devices and if it shows random numbers like this that's mean your device has been successfully connected uh, to your PC or laptop and if it shows any error or if it, it doesn't shows anything that's mean your device is not successfully connected to your laptop or PC you just have to reinstall the ADB drivers or check your data cable. Now you just have to write a command fast boot boot and now you just have to drag and drop the uh, downloaded TWRP recovery image file into this PowerShell window then just hit enter and it will automatically put the latest TWRP recovery onto your Redmi Note 11 as you can see here it is automatically rebooting but don't skip the video because the TWRP recovery is not permanently installed on this device so after booting up you can uh, simply remove your device so as you can see here it is just asking for the password to decrypt the data let's enter my password click on this tick button and as you can see here I just entered a wrong password that's why it just failed let's try with the good one so as you can see here at the top you can check the TWRP uh, recovery version which is the 3.7.0 which is the latest and uh, you can also check the 
decryption from the internal storage as you can see here the internal storage has been completely decrypted and uh, this is not permanently installed how you can install it for permanent just go to advanced and from here you just have to click on flash current twrp click on it and swipe right from here after swapping it it will put the twrp recovery into the recovery partition so now let me show you by rebooting it into the recovery mode if it is permanently installed or not before this i was using a old version of twrp recovery on my redmi note 11 as you can see here it is showing the latest version and that's mean the recovery has been successfully updated just enter the right password click on ok and it will decrypt the internal storage as you can see here so you can also install this uh, recovery on miui or any custom rom so now you can install any custom rom or stock rom using this recovery you can also do a lot of stuff like you can root your device uh, you can install a lot of magic modules you can do a lot of tweaks and do a lot of stuff so now let's go back to system so this was the video for today i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace by the way you can also join us on the telegram the telegram group and channel link is in the description must check them